About four years ago, I promised to make a tutorial on how to replace the opening to Naruto Storm 4 with whatever you wanted, and I never got around to doing that. However, I learned the other day that the old videos I made with the uh, mods to do it were outdated, and so I figured I would redo them so that they worked on the latest patch and also record it at the same time. Two things. First, I want to say thank you to Extreme for helping me figure out where I was going wrong with my old method. Uh, it took me two days to find out and it was something really simple, so just wanted to say thank you to him. And second, everything you need right here is free and will be located in the description. So first of all, you're going to need the video that you want to uh, Replace the opening to Stormfall with. I'm using the Pelike cover of Calaboon Spiral that I edited uh, four years ago. And we're going to need to convert this to a different file format or a specific file format because Scaleform Video Encoder, which is the program that uh, converts videos to the format that Stormfall would use for its opening, it, it only accepts .avi, but you have, to, you have to encode it in a specific way. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure out different ways of doing it and the uh, easiest and free method is to use prism fi video file converter so we're going to launch that now as you can see this is the unlicensed free version uh, drag and drop our video in here and we're going to make sure this is set to .avi save it to the desktop and hit convert this will take about a minute or so and once it's finished, it'll make a, um, a noise to let you know, so you don't have to keep your eye on it. So uh, just wait for this to finish its its uh, conversion. Okay, so mine's just about finished. You can hear the noise now. There it is. Once that's done, we can just close that off. And right here, we'll have the .avi file. This is the, uh, the video that Scaleform can read, so we don't need this one now. So we're going to move that over here. However, I've noticed that there is an issue with scale form, and that it sometimes just doesn't include the audio with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the audio out of this and layer it on top in scale form to guarantee that the audio plays uh, in game as well. So first we're going to use VLC Media Player. Uh, just launch that. Then we're going to go to Media, hit Convert. And here you can either click the add button and browse to your file, or you can just click and drag our video file right here onto there. And then hit convert slash save. Set this to audio mp3 and put the destination to the desktop. Uh, you can just name it opening one or whatever you want. Mine's named opening one, but the name doesn't matter for right now. And then hit start. This will take a lot less time because it's just taking the audio file from the video. That's done. Let's close that off. And now we've got our audio. However, again, Scaleform doesn't accept any old audio file. It needs to be a certain file type and encoded in a certain way. So we're going to open up in Audacity. We're going to take our audio file once Audacity opens. I'm just going to drop that into there. And open up and that's our audio file right there and then we're just going to straight away export as a dot .wav again name doesn't matter just save it to the desktop don't change any of these settings just hit ok then that that's done close that off i want to save changes now we have the working audio file so we don't need this one now we have the audio and video for our intro. We'll open up Scaleform, run the Scaleform video encoder.exe, and right here, top left, where it says input name, we're gonna click these three dots, open up our opening.avi, down here where it says other audio, mono stereo, we're gonna choose the dot web that we just created. Open. Don't change any of these settings, just hit encode. And then this progress bar should jump straight to 10% and then slowly work its way up to 100. We're going to leave this to do its thing, however there won't be a noise to let you know, so keep an eye on it. Okay, so when it finishes it'll say done encoding in blue writing down here. Once that pops up we can just close this off, 
we'll have two new files out here. One is opening one dot bat. You don't need it. You can delete it. The next is opening one dot usm. Of course, it might not be called opening one for you. It's whatever you named it as. The name doesn't matter right now. Dot uh, usm is the file type that Dawn 4 will use for its opening cutscene. But now we need to get the game to load this. And in order to do that, we're going to basically sneak it inside one of the patch files. Uh, the patch files are in what's called CPK, which is basically just like a collection of files. And uh, they load those files on top of the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in there and get it to load up uh, once the game launches. So first things first, we're going to open up Pipack Tools Master. And we're also going to need to open up the game directory. If you don't know how to get to your game directory, you just go to Steam, find Storm 4 in your library, right click, go to properties, hit local files, and then hit browse. Now we should have our install directory right here. We go into data, patch, 12, and the file that actually has the opening in it is launch.cpk. Now as you can see, that's one gigabyte. So we're going to use sound.cpk instead, which is almost 10 times smaller, uh, which means that the uh, process is a lot faster. And if you end up sharing this uh, mod that you make online, people don't have to download a one gigabyte file. They only have to download, uh, uh, they'll have to download a much smaller one. So we're going to, first of all, we're going to make a copy of this as a backup. So we're going to just leave a copy on our desktop for safekeeping. Then we're going to take this file and we're going to put it in Crypack Tools Master. And once you've done that, you click this and drag it onto Extract All No Decompression. A black box will pop up, give it a moment, let it do its thing, and it will close itself. So now that the uh, black box is closed, we will be left with a folder called Data. And inside here is all of the files that was within sound.cpk. Uh, what we're going to want to do is put it in an empty folder on the desktop called root. I have one right here. You just right click your desktop, new folder, and just name it root. And place that in there like that. So now you can open this up, go into data, and next to the sound folder, I'm going to create a new folder in here. Just name it movie. Go inside here, and we're going to place the opening USM file that we made a moment ago, right in here. And now we need to rename it and name it opening underscore RTB. Just like that. No capitals, no spaces, just like that. And once we're done with that, we can close this off and this. And we're going to open up Repacker CPK. In here, you look for cptools.exe open that up and what this will do is basically take that folder and pack it all back into a new sound.cpk file so first we're gonna click uh, browse on data path down here we're gonna ignore the top half of this we don't need this we just need the build cpk path click browse and choose the root folder that we made as you can see it has the data movie and sound hit ok don't change any of these settings except these two checkboxes. We want to uncheck both of these. And then in the save path, hit browse. And you're going to want your Storm 4 uh, patch folder. If you don't have that selected by default, you just simply go to the uh, patch folder that we had earlier. Click up here, copy that, and then paste it up here. And then down here in file name, we write sound. And this will create the sound.cpk in the patch folder. And then we hit build. Another black box pop up here. As you can see, that took like no time at all. It's because we're using the sound.cpk, which is much smaller than launch.cpk, where the actual file is. But this will still work just fine. And now we should be done. We can close this off. And if we launch Storm 4, we should have our new intro. So I'm going to launch Storm 4 now. And we're going to see if it worked.
So that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, again, thank you to Extreme for his patience with helping me figure out uh, the process and where I was going wrong. And uh, I'm going to go and update the old videos I made so that they work with a new patch. And you guys have fun making your own intros.